Alright, this is a quick walkthrough of how to install Vesper. Vesper is an open source software for monitoring nocturnal bird migration, developed by Harold Mills. It's programmed in Python and easiest installed using the Anaconda programming environment. So to install Anaconda, uh, you can just head over to their site and uh, choose your installation. Uh, in this case, I would install uh, the Mac installation. Um, and once you have the software installed, you can open it up and go to environments. And what I've done here is just create an environment called it Vesper. And Vesper relies on Python 3. It doesn't work in Python 2, so I've just chosen Python 3.6 and created this archive. Uh, I haven't, I've just left all the defaults here on the right um, in my environment. So once you've got that going, you can hit this green arrow, choose open in terminal. And that will automatically activate your environment and open a terminal window with that environment enabled. Okay, so once we've got that going, um, we can install Vesper within this environment. I want to first change to the directory of all of my files. So I'm going to copy all of this, move it over. Now you would just clone this repo onto your hard drive. So once we've got that, let's change into that directory. And I'm just going to do that by typing cd and then dragging this folder from my hard drive. So now you can see I'm in this directory. I've got all my files here. Um, just as a quick walkthrough of what all's in here on a high level, um, archive data 2018 is going to be a sort of settings file for where our recordings were made and what detectors were used, things like that. We'll walk through it in more detail in a second. Uh, you can see it here on the left. Uh, Anyway, uh, and then once the database is created, um, you'll see a SQLite database here. Um, clips are the clips that Vesper detects. So once you have recordings and you process them, it will automatically create this directory and um, separate your recordings out into uh, short little clips that it feels are rep potentially representative of nocturnal bird migration. Um, then your preferences.yaml file is a file that you can use to sort of customize the interface of Vesper itself. Presets, uh, I haven't dug into too far yet, but these are all sort of further configuration files that you can manipulate key bindings for the interface and things like that. And recordings is just an arbitrary location where I have chosen to put full-length recordings that Vesper can process into clips. So I'm going to put all my sound files in here. Okay, so these are a bunch of recordings that were sent to me by Gregor Omega, and he was using an old bird detector to make these recordings. I uh, recorded them for 30 minutes to an hour or so each time somewhere near Forest Grove, but we're going to use Forest Grove as the station name here. And these files, in order to be processed properly by Vesper, need to have a particular naming structure. So, in this instance, again, Forest Grove is the station name, and we have an underscore. Then we have the date separated by dashes, where it's in the format of four-digit year, two-digit month, in this case April, two-digit day, in this case the 19th, then an underscore, and then the time, and the time is in UTC format. So this was recorded in Pacific Daylight Time, uh, which is 7 hours ahead of UTC time. Here, 05 is the hour, dot 51 is the minutes, dot 21 is the seconds, and this underscore Z stands for Zulu time, and then we have the file extension. So 
all the files need to follow that format in order to be imported properly. Uh, this file I'm not going to copy because we have already got it in our system here. The clips have already been processed. Uh, that was done by Harold Mills in order to make sure everything is working. So I'm just going to copy these over. Uh, you can see there's about 4 gigs worth of data in here. And uh, once these are processed, we can clear out these recordings files. Okay, so now we're back in our term terminal. We make sure we're in this Vesper environment, which we can see here on the command line as Vesper. So the next step, as we can see from these instructions, is to create a super user, uh, an admin user for the software. And so I'll just call it Vesper Admin. address and then I'll do a password. Okay, so I've got a user for the system and now I just need to run the server. Do that with Vesper admin run server and that Vesper underscore admin by the way is just a shortcut to the manage.py uh, python file for this project. So it's just an alias. And you can see our server is up and running, so we should be able to copy this address, uh, paste it into our browser, and see our clips. Um, so again, these clips were already processed, so we have a circle on the date for the 25th where some recordings were made. Uh, we have our station here, we have the detectors that are used, so Seep and Thrush uh, are the two that have been enabled for this project, and then all of these are classifications for types of birds, uh, as well as some other random ones like noise, tone. These are all classifications that can be assigned to our clips. And we can filter what we've detected here by these different uh, abbreviations, these different call types and noises. Across the top here, we've got our menu. This is the clip calendar. Uh, the import menu is where we can bring in new recordings, so we'll do that in a second. Archive data is that archive.yaml file that I mentioned earlier, and we'll go through that in a second. Detect wants our login and password. And so once we have recordings, we can process them with this detect menu. Go through that in a second. After we detect it, we run our classifier. And once we have clips that seem useful and they've all been classified, then we can export those for further processing. Uh, here we can delete clips and recordings. We won't do that right now. So back in the clip calendar, let's just take a look at what we've already got. And it looks like Harold has um, run through all the clips that were detected as potential nocturnal migration calls and narrowed it down to one useful call. Now, I think from the old bird detector we started with around 240 clips. Those were narrowed down to about 120 through the detectors within Vesper. And of those 120, there was only one significant uh, nocturnal migration call. So you can see this band here. This is when all of this happened. So you could see it was happening somewhere between 4.30 and 5.30 in the morning. And this is now in Pacific Standard Time. So uh, it's done that conversion for us to our local time based on this YAML file, which I'll go through in a second. And if we click play, you can hear that call. So before I get too far into Vesper itself, let me just go through these YAML files. Now this was a kind of starter YAML file provided by Harold Mills that we modified to fit our station location and the types of detectors that we use, etc. So here we have information about our recording station, Forest Grove. Uh, 
we've got our time zone, which is Pacific. We've got our latitude and longitude elevation. Uh, this is an old bird recorder, so you'll see that here. We've got some start and end times here, uh, the types of detectors that are available. I think the only ones that are being used right now are uh, thrush and seep. So these are the two uh, detectors that will try to listen in certain frequency bands for something that sounds like nocturnal migration. And these are you know, about 25 years old, so they're not the most accurate uh, advanced detectors, but uh, they are simple to get up and running via Old Bird, and uh, they're pretty affordable, so that's what we're using. Uh, then the classifiers are the sort of machine learning algorithms that run in order to try and classify the noise that we hear as nocturnal bird migration within the software itself, uh, so MPG range. And then we've got all of our different classifiers here, and we could add to these, uh, subtract. A lot of these species were, are not Pacific Northwest native birds, so they might be irrelevant. You might want to do that at some point. Uh, but at any rate, once our project is set up, we would do that through the database and not through this YAML file. This is only kind of to get up and running. OK, so now that We've gone through the files. Let's go ahead and import some of these recordings. Remember, I put them in this recordings directory, name them all appropriately. So in our interface, you can just say recordings. And if there were subdirectories, we would want to check recursive, but they're not. So I'll just say import. And it's not going to automatically update this interface. We have to kind of check back in. And we want to make sure we're not navigating around the site while it's uh, doing any importing or classifying or detecting. If we do want to keep a live status, we can look over here in our terminal window and see. Uh, and we're looking for this job complete, which I see. So if I refresh the page, I can see that same status within here. So now if we're looking at our clip calendar, we can see all of these recordings in the interface. And the one on the 25th was already processed, so that one is orange, but the rest are gray, meaning they haven't been classified. Can... So let's do that now. We'll go to detect, select our detectors, select our date range, and I'm just going to pick one day just in case there's problems. If there is an issue with any of our recordings, it will cause the whole thing to not work, so just do one day at a time. Click detect. We can watch this thing run here. So there you go, job complete. Now we want to classify. Do the same thing. Pick our date. So now if we go back to our clip calendar, you can see we've got two dates here that have been classified. You can see the dot is much bigger here because we have a lot of clips. Notice you know, in, on the 25th we reduced it down to the one significant clip, but that hasn't been done yet on this date. So here are all of our calls and we'd be looking for nocturnal migration calls and getting rid of anything that wasn't. So if I listen to this first call, it just sounds like some noise. If I hit the N key on one of these clips I could just classify it as noise. Uh, that's some noise, but it looks like here we've got something that looks like it could be a nocturnal migration call, and I'm not an expert, so I'm not going to do anything with this right now, but uh, this is the process by which we would classify or call out uh, things that seemed like significant birdsong, and that's basically how you use this interface.